Neurodegenerative diseases are a class of diseases that affect people as they get older. Their brain cells die, and depending on which brain cells die, you get different diseases. The most common disease is Alzheimer's disease, which is associated with loss of memory. Parkinson's is a disorder of motor control. There is a slow loss of cells in the base of the brain called the substantia nigra. As the cells are slowly lost, and it reaches a certain point where people start developing those motor symptoms. Today, the best treatments for Alzheimer's disease will treat some of the symptoms for a small period of time. So we have no cure, no prevention for the disease. My lab for the last couple of decades has used genetics as a way to gain insight into the disease, to determine the underlying mechanisms and then design therapeutics that target that mechanism. When we look at a brain with Alzheimer's disease, we see plaques accumulating around the neurons, eventually killing them in areas of the brain that have to do with memory and cognition. We discovered through our genetic research at Mount Sinai that the disease actually starts decades before symptoms ever occur, when the brain's own helper cells, the microglia, stop doing their job of clearing away the plaque. So, our critical mission is to discover better ways to detect when this is happening, like with a simple blood test and to treat Alzheimer's disease before it steals away the very things that make us human. We're using large-scale computational techniques to analyze big data sets, to identify patterns in thousands of patients. So these artificial intelligence and big data approaches really allows us to figure out biomarkers that are precisely associated with Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. We are at a very crucial time in biology where uh, we're on the cusp of gene therapies. Of course, the major goal is to prevent Parkinson's in the first place. If we look at other complex common diseases, cancer, heart disease, we have an arsenal of drugs that we use to treat those diseases. That's what we need for Alzheimer's disease, to understand a complex clinical problem, you need an interdisciplinary team. You need computational approaches. You need experimental approaches. You need clinical translational approaches. And what I've tried to do is to put all of those together in a single team with the idea that we can go from bench to bedside. Because we're able to get lots and lots of clinical information from hundreds and hundreds of thousand patients, we're finding patterns that we wouldn't be able to uh, in the past because these methods really didn't exist and we hope that, you know, by working together collaboratively, uh, we'll get there very soon.